Hey guys, so I just want to talk a little bit about symptoms in the human body. Um, there's a lot of people who, you know, they get a symptom and uh, uh, it's like, what can I take? You know, what kind of, um, I don't know, vi what vitamin do I need or what can I do to make this symptom go away? Um, but I, I, the problem is that the point is being missed when it comes to uh, dealing with a symptom as something... Uh, uh, outside of the system, um, like uh, uh, something is broken that needs to be fixed with with something, and it's one th one small element outside of the whole. Um, problem being is that the human body um, it doesn't it doesn't do something for no reason. Um, high blood pressure is not um, it is not something that's like, oh my gosh, I have high blood pressure. What can I do to lower the blood pressure? What do I have to take? What well, can I take to lower the blood pressure? What can I take to lower uh, my blood cholesterol? Because my cholesterol is too high. Why is it high? Maybe that's a better question. Why is my cholesterol high? Um, I mean, your, our bodies make it for a reason. It doesn't just do something just because it's like, oh my goodness, you know, we, we're broken and, and all of a sudden our cholesterol goes way up because you're broken. It's like, well, no, um, actually, you know, cholesterol is something that you have to have in great quantities. Your body needs it for everything, especially if there's something wrong. If you've got um, if you've got uh, chemical stress, environmental stress, physical stress, something that is stressing out your body, uh, believe me, you're going to need some cortisol. Um, and without it, I bet you you'd feel a lot more pain. Uh, the problem is that, uh, you know, cortisol and testosterone and estrogen and everything that you think of when you're talking about uh uh, hormones and you know corticosteroids, uh, whatever it is that your body needs to make, it it needs cholesterol to make it. Uh, so if you're trying to artificially lower or block cholesterol production, um, it's probably not a good idea. Uh, there's a, probably a reason why your body needs what it's making. And if you stop it, you're probably just going to create a dam somewhere else. And then you'll have these other symptoms. Oh my goodness, now this isn't working. Well, yeah, because you kind of stopped it upstream. Um, and now you've got to deal with that. <laughs> Not really a good thing to have. So uh, blood pressure, same thing. Um, you know, if you're thinking of, you know, oh, I've got uh, high blood pressure. It's something I have to, you know, tell my, your doctor goes, oh, you've got high blood pressure. Uh, high blood pressure causes strokes or causes uh, heart disease or, you know, what have you. It's like um, even the same with cholesterol, high cholesterol. It's like, really? Maybe you have high blood pressure because there's something else going on in your body that's extremely stressing out your system. Um, that'll, you know, any sort of stress will raise your blood pressure. That's kind of what it does. Um... You know, it, and you're you're supposed to, you're supposed to have higher blood pressure because you've got a tiger that you've got to run away from. I mean, yeah, sure. In today's day and age, we're not dealing with tigers. We're not dealing with something where you need you need to you know suddenly be able to get up and go. Um, we're dealing with things that we, well, we're dealing with a lot more than we have to. I mean, the, the most of the stressors that we deal with are quite avoidable. Um, and, but we sit on them long term and then wonder why we have these problems, why, uh, our digestion is bad or why we can't sleep. When you get into fight or flight, um, your gut shuts down, uh, your front or lobe shuts down for the most part. That's, that's going to give you some brain fog. Um, you're going to make bad decisions. Uh, you're not going to be able to sleep well, uh, with a, with a bad, with a bad gut. Uh, you're not going to be able to really absorb the nutrients that you need to take care of whatever it issues it, it, uh, issue it is you have. Um, and what if it comes from something else? What if your neck is out of alignment? If your neck is out of alignment, I mean, most of the nerves in your body, you know, you're not going to feel any pain from it. 
So if you have something out of alignment, you're not going to know it. Most people don't know that they've got something out of alignment. Um, it's not the misalignment that's the problem. The problem is that quite often when something is misaligned, it's putting pressure on, on a nerve. Um, and that nerve, that uh, the nerves are what makes your body run. The nerves are what makes uh, your heart beat, uh, what makes your kidneys function, uh, what makes your liver cleanse. Everything that you need um, comes from that. So if you're having all these strange problems, you don't know what it is, or whatever, the first thing to do is not go, oh, well, I have an ache here, so what can I do for the ache? Or what, you know, what can I do for for a headache? Well, 93% of headaches come from an issue in the neck. So same thing. Um, you know, if you've got, uh, you know, some, I don't know, some symptom, I don't care what it is. It's just an indicator that something else is incorrect. Something else is wrong. Maybe check your diet. That's, an, that's a good thing. But before you do any of that, before you do anything else, you have to check your nervous system. That runs everything that you have. That is just, it's the master system of your body. You are a self-healing and self-regulating system. If the body is giving you a signal, it's doing it for a reason. So listen to what your body's saying. Um, you do self-heal. You do self-regulate. Hi, buddy. Hi. There's my boy right there. My Corby. We'll probably do a video together Thank later. We have, <laughs> we have another channel. But anyway... So you are a self-healing, self-regulating entity. Uh, respect who you are. Respect how you were made. You weren't. Your body is not stupid. It's incredibly, incredibly intelligent. It knows what it needs, and it it makes those changes based on your on trying to get you to keep you um, alive and thriving. Um, it can only do so much, though. So if you're putting it through hell, if you're eating a crappy diet, if uh, you're sedentary and sitting down the whole time, and uh, nope, I can't, I can't see you on it. You can see me though, can't you? Can you see me? <laughs> okay, I gotta do the video, so I need you to be quiet. Okay? Okay. Thank you. So do your body a favor. Uh, go get your nervous system checked first. Uh, make sure that all your nerves are firing to the right places, if, you know, how they're supposed to. Um, you know, there's, uh, if, if you find that they're not, there are ways to get, uh, to find yourself a good corrective chiropractic or chiropractor. Um, not someone who's just going to manage your pain. Uh, if somebody says, you know, I can help you manage your pain, keep looking. <laughs> Look for someone who takes x-rays um, and then, you know, after a time takes more x-rays so that they can compare and show just what kind of uh, uh, change that's happening. Uh, I'm gonna, you're going to find that's going to be so, so helpful in, in your journey to, to heal and get better. It's talking inside your phone. Yes, I am. And so after you after you've figured that out and you've worked on your nervous system, you know, check your diet. I mean, what do you what are you putting in there? It's more expensive in the long run, and uh, quality of life is nothing to take uh, to take lightly. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, love you. Thanks for uh, coming on over and stopping and seeing my channel. Um, if you like this video or any of my others and you know subscribe buttons down below i hope you do it's been a pleasure and we'll talk to you soon say bye bye <laughs> let's make a video